Hello Vinyl Community. This is Randy back today with another video. Today I'm going to uh, do something a little bit different. I'm going to uh, show you some 7-inch singles. Some Grateful Dead 7-inch singles. Uh, the Grateful Dead were uh, an American band, you know, from California from about, 19, about 1965 to 1995. They released 21 singles while they were an active band. The first one was released in uh, 1966 and they released their last single in 1989. So 21 singles, most of those did not chart. I don't think any of them really did very well except for uh, um, Touch of Grey in 1986. It sort of changed things for the Grateful Dead, made them a much bigger band, much more popular I guess. But, um, uh, but they did release 21 singles and so then from uh, starting in 2017, uh, Grateful Dead Productions re-released all 21 of the singles. They did four a year in 2017, 18, 19, and 20. So that was the first 16. And then in 2021, they released five singles. So all 21 were re-released. And they uh, created new artwork for all these singles. So uh, all the singles have A and B sides, and they created artwork for the A side and the B side. And they're all on colored vinyl. So I'm just going to show you the singles today and uh, the artwork, you know, the cover that goes with them and uh, the record itself. So, yeah, starting in 2017. So it's a subscription series from The Grateful Dead. Um, and um, I subscribed all four years. You didn't have to subscribe to get them. You could buy them individually if you wanted to. Uh, that's when I hadn't subscribed. So, um, uh, yeah, I, never, uh, I, sh I showed them uh, in regular you know, videos starting in 2019 when I started making videos about never showing these first few. I'm just going to show them all right now. So, the first one from 1966 was on Scorpio Records. This is the only one that's on Scorpio Records. This is Stealing with Don't Ease Me In. So, um, uh, yeah, here is uh, the artwork for Stealing, I think, and then. Uh, I think this is um, uh, Don't Ease Me In. She brings me coffee. She brings me tea. She brings me every damn thing but the jailhouse key. So, yeah. Don't Ease Me In. First one. The first album was released in 1967. Uh, I think in May and in June of 1967. Uh, no, March of 67, the first one. And then in April of 67, they released their first single, which was... Uh, Golden Road to Unlimited Devotion, so here she comes, barefooting along, whistling and singing, she's carrying on. Cream Puff War, and this one on yellow vinyl. This is on Warner Brothers Records. Cool label though, I haven't really seen a label like that otherwise. Dark Star was the third single that they released. Dark Star with the flip side, Born Cross-Eyed. This is actually on very dark purple vinyl. It's slightly translucent purple vinyl. Kind of hard to tell that. In this light. The next one is uh, Dupree's Diamond Blues. So that, that's sort of the story song, Dupree's Diamond Blues, about a guy going to the jewelry store and robbing the jeweler. He's got a, Diamond wing, uh, diamond ring for his for his girl. Turns out the judge was probably having an affair with that girl anyway. But uh, here is um, uh, uh, what is the name of this flip song? Cosmic Charlie. Yeah, Cosmic Charlie. Bought you a paddle for your paper canoe. And this one looks like it really is just um black vinyl. If it's some sort of color, it's really hard to tell what the color is. So. Alright, here we have Uncle John's band. Is that lying? I'll, I'll play, 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 call the tune. I'll, I'll play the tune, something like that. Something about a fiddle, I think, in there. And then the flip side is uh, New Speedway Boogie. If you're pleased going up the track, this train's got to run today. All about the Altamont disaster. Here is Truckin', more or less in line, and the flip side on this one is Ripple, very cool looking yellow vinyl, 
ripple. Ripple in still water. After that, sugar magnolia. Magnolia blossom there. The flip side of sugar magnolia is uh, Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie, a song sung by uh, Pigpen. Uh, what's it say something about? I, I, I take out my shotgun, I go walking out. Chuba Chuba. <laughs> I don't really know what the words to that are, but it's a very cool song. Uh, let's see. Here, yeah, well, what is this? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Let Me Sing Your Blues Away. Let Me Sing Your Blues Away, which is the one song that was sung by Keith Godshaw, the keyboard player during the 70s. Flip side is Here Comes Sunshine. I look very happy about that. Extremely cool label here with sort of the Wake of the Flood type imagery there with the crows. Here we have Eyes of the World. Eyes of the World. With weather Report Suite. On the other side. <clears throat> U.S. Blues. So you see the flag there. Loose Lucy, Loose Lucy, she's my delight. Ah, a light blue vinyl for that one, once again, using that Wake of the Flood type imagery. Here is, uh, let's see, oh yeah, uh, Help on the Way. on the way. Without love and the dream, it'll never come true. And uh, the music never stopped. Band beyond description. Yep, uh, and that was on this called Orange Vinyl. Yeah, so all these actually came with, um, they're all numbered on the back side for the flip side. They all actually came with uh, hype stickers too. So, well, we're showing you all those. Uh, this is, um, uh, oh yeah, Franklin's Tower. You can see the towers there, Franklin's Tower. And on the other side, uh, uh, Passenger. Passenger, I think it's Passenger. It passenger? Help on the way and, uh, oh, no way. It's Help on the way and Franklin's Tower. Here's Franklin's Tower, this Help on the way. So I thought that was the Firefly for uh, Passenger, but that's a uh, Help on the way, I guess, arriving in the form of, a, of an insect, it looks like. Very yeah. cool. <laughs> Is... Uh, let's see, which one is this? Yeah, Dancing in the Streets. Is everybody dancing in the streets? A remake of the Martha and the Vandellas tune on purple vinyl. Dancing in the Streets. And then Terrapin Station is the B-side, so there's the Terrapin there. Dancing in the Streets was a song the Grateful Dead did at the very beginning, back in the 60s when they first started, and in the 70s they did a major revamping of the song and did sort of a disco version of it, so it was very, I thought it was very cool. Anyway, here is, uh, oh yeah, this is going to be Passenger with uh, Terrapin Station, so yeah, green vinyl, Passenger, and Terrapin Station, so there's Passenger, there's the Firefly, That's what the song starts out singing about Firefly, Terrapin Station, Terrapin's head there. Uh, good Lovin', another big hit 60s song that the Grateful Dead did pretty much throughout their career from beginning to end, I believe. Started out with Pigpen singing it, but Bob Ware sang it towards the end. And then Stagger Lee, 
another story song, and you can sort of see the whole story right here. Stagger Lee's about to get shot. Uh, blue vinyl. That one on Arista Records. So, well, so I guess there's Warner Brothers, Grateful Dead Records, and Arista Records. So, yeah. And then that one Scorpio Records. Here we are with uh, Shakedown Street in France. So there's Shakedown Street. So I think that may have been sort of how they referred to their headquarters there in Santa Fe, even though later it came to sort of refer to the parking lot scene out before the shows. There's France, way down in the south of France, everybody loves to dance. All the people love to dance, something like that. Uh, here we are with um, <clears throat> Alabama Getaway and Far From Me. So, here is Alabama Getaway. I remember when that was released as a single, but it didn't really necessarily do that well. And Far From Me, a song that was sung by Brent Midland, the keyboard player who replaced Keith Godshaw. They started sending some uh, inner sleeves with them after a while. Uh, here is uh, Don't Ease Me In, backed with Far From Me, on Arista again. So. These are just kind of abstract. I can't really, uh, I'm not really sure. I, detect what the artwork is referring to here. It sort of seems like this artwork could be for either side. Far From Me, uh, another song is sung by Brent Midland. Here we are with <coughs> Touch of Grey, by far their biggest hit, their only hit single, really. Touch of Grey. Every Silver Lining's got a Touch of Grey. And uh, My Brother Esau. The song that Bob Ware sang. Came on this smoky gray vinyl. And uh, uh, yeah, throwing stones. And then when push comes to shove, so throwing stones. Uh, Bob Ware song, sort of about, I think maybe about the environment, stuff like that. When Push Comes to Shove, Jay Garcia song, When Push Comes to Shove, You're Afraid of Love, call it teal maybe, or I'm not sure what color that is exactly, and the very last single they released in 1989 was Foolish Heart, a wonderful song that was sung by Jerry Garcia, Foolish Heart. And the uh, flip side is uh, We Can Run, another Brent Midland song. I think that's sort of an uh, environmental song, too. So, yeah, Foolish Heart. From really beautiful blue vinyl for that one. Yeah, so that's it. Those are all the Grateful Dead singles that they released from 66 to 89 and then re-released from 2017 to 21. So, um... Uh, yeah, great artwork on those, and colored vinyl looks nice. They, they all sound good, too. They sound fine to me. Well, there was one I had a problem with, but they replaced it for me. Um, so, so that was good. And, uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about these singles, and I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Thanks very much for watching.